Good morning, pretties. Happy Friday. Welcome to an early edition of Coffee Chat. My hair is kind of crazy. Okay, so I'm coming to you early today because I am getting my second session of microblading done on my eyebrows. I'm so excited. Um, I think I talked about it on here before, but five weeks ago, I got my first session of microblading done, and it's been amazing. <laughs> um, the first five weeks were weird, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I had Jean Shallot eyebrows for Christmas, which was really cool. Um, but now they're all healed and ready to go, and um, if you're not familiar with microblading, it's actually a two-step process, and essentially it's like getting your eyebrows tattooed. I never had a tattoo before, um, so it was a very interesting experience. And I'm gonna outline all of the details, like the good, the bad, and the ugly, <laughs> everything, uh, on the blog this week. So be sure to um, check it out on Wednesday on getyourprettyon.com. I'm gonna have a full blog post about my experience. And I'll have my second session done today. And I've heard everybody say, like, after you get the second session done, you're absolutely in love with your eyebrows. Um, so far, I'm really, really happy. Um, I guess they go back in and just kind of refill or fill in anything today that um, she didn't get the first time around. I'm not sure. But so far, I've been thrilled. I haven't had to pencil in my eyebrows at all. Um, they look very natural after that initial phase of, oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> Everything just kind of got better and evened out. But it was definitely a process, and I'm going to be sharing that with you soon. So anyway, today I've got something I want to share with you. I'm excited about it. It's my healthy habits tracker. All right, it's mid-January. If you're on my email newsletter list, you got my secret email yesterday. I was talking about how I start out the new year like, I'm going to light the world on fire. And then January comes, mid-January comes, and I'm like, bam, I hit the wall hard. And I lose my motivation. I lose my, my momentum. And it happens every single year like clockwork. So I outlined my little five-step plan in that email yesterday. If you're not on secret email list, then please sign up. It's getyourprettyom.com slash the list. And you'll get all my newsletters and my secret emails every month um, where I go a little bit deeper and share some more personal stuff that you won't see on the blog or on social media. But anyway, getting back to today's topic. Um, you know, one of the things that is the first to go out the window is all my healthy habits that I'm trying to establish. And I know that a lot of you feel the same way. I've heard back from many of you saying that, you know, you do start the new year out and think that you're going to be able to stick with these resolutions and goals. You get a couple weeks in and you start to lose steam. And I think what a lot of us then do is we lose confidence too. Um, but I just want you to know you can start over any day, any time, and that's really what my coffee chat last week was about, where I shared my do good, feel good uh, worksheet with you, is that you can hit the reset button over and over again. <laughs> I was just talking uh, to one of my friends yesterday about this because she was selling me Girl Scout cookies, and um, she said, you know, but nobody's buying Girl Scout cookies from my daughter right now, and I said, well, what's going on? She's like, oh, everybody just says, I just started eating healthy, I can't bring the cookies into the house. And I said, yeah, I'm kind of in that same boat every single day. I wake up and I'm like, I'm going to eat healthy today. I'm going to have all whole foods. And I usually do really well for breakfast and lunch. And then 3 o'clock hits and I feel like I'm starving. And I want to reach for the bad snacks. And then by dinner time, I'm famished. So I end up just kind of like going off the rails every day and then hitting the reset button the next day. Um, so really the healthy habits tracker is something that I use when I need to hit the reset button, if I've been off track for a period of time, days, weeks, months, <laughs> some of us years, it's okay. You can always get back on track. Uh, but this is a really good way just to hit the reset button and do it in a way that's not overwhelming. Because I think if we try to make too many changes at once, uh, a lot of us just give up really early on. And that can be super overwhelming. And then you beat yourself up. And this is really about progress, not perfection. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through my healthy habits tracker today. And first off, I'm going to share a website um, URL with you. It's getyourprettyon.com slash healthy tracker. So you can download your own healthy habits tracker. I'm going to work through this one right now and uh, talk you through it. My glasses are pathetically dirty. Can't even see out of them. Um, but anyway, oh, I got to tell you about my new addiction. 
it's this summer moon coffee. Oh my gosh. So my son, the college, well, the one that just graduated college told me that he has like this daily addiction. He goes to summer moon coffee every day and they make this amazing, um, I guess it's a latte. I don't know, but it's their specialty. And they put this stuff in it called moon milk. And it's just a sweetened milk with a shot of espresso, but it's addictive. And I just got their velvet blaze that I've been making every morning. Um, it is wood fired coffee and it is so good. I'm going to go there tomorrow. The closest one to us is 45 minutes away, <laughs> but I can order the coffee online and have it delivered, but it's just so good. I want to go into the store and get the latte. So anyway, sidebar, um, this is what's fueling me lately. That's why I'm, I'm so energetic this morning. <laughs> All right. So back to the healthy habits tracker. All right. Uh, you can get yours at getyourprettyon.com slash healthy tracker. Um, so I printed mine off and it looks like this and I'm going to run through the parts of this right now. So kickstarting healthy habits after any type of hiatus is overwhelming. And instead of trying to do the sweeping overhaul of everything at once, we're going to choose one or two healthy habits to track, and then you can start adding them in. Um, so you can add in new habits on a daily basis. You can add in new habits on a weekly basis. It's totally up to you. So let's just say you're going to start with one. We're going to use this example I provided in the healthy habits tracker, which is drinking water. Um, and you can just track this one for a full week. If that's what you feel comfortable with, you can track it and another habit for a full week. You can track it for a day and layer in a new one tomorrow. Like, um, you know, start off today drinking lots of water and then tomorrow add in cutting out junk food. So you'll be drinking lots of water and cutting out junk food. Uh, or you can do this for an entire week and then add in cutting out junk food next week. The, the point is that each habit is gonna build upon the next. Does that make sense? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start small, begin with easy changes first, like upping your water intake, getting rid of junk food in your diet. The only way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time, that's right. So small changes add up to create the bigger impact, and that's really what we're focusing on. And we're gonna track what matters most to you? So um, I'm going to give you some examples, and when I work through this, you can use my examples if you want to, or you can come up with some of your own. So some of the things that I think are great to track on this are water intake, important, sleep, it's super important, exercise, eating whole foods, eliminating junk food, and then you can add in things like yoga or meditation and breathing exercises too, which are also great healthy habits to have. And again, you decide the time frame. You can try adding in a new healthy habit a week at a time or a day or a time. It's perfectly okay to master one before layering in the next. All right. So we're going to start with my tracker that I have here. And at the top, I have drink more water. And under the goal, I put 64 ounces per day, which is what's recommended, eight, eight ounce glasses of water per day. Um, whenever I want to kickstart my healthy habits, drinking more water to me is one of the easiest things that I can do. Um, hydration makes you feel so much better in every way and it signals to my body, we're doing this, we're getting this started. So that's why I always recommend starting with this one and why I also have it filled in on the tracker that you can fill out. So there are two ways that you can track this habit. You can either track it by how many ounces you want to do per day, or you can just be as simple as saying your goal is to five days a week, drink more water. It's that easy. And then as you accomplish the goal, you can either track how many ounces you drank each day, or you can track with an X the days that you did this. So there are two ways that you can use it. In this last column, I have a header called progress. And at the end of the week, you can just tally up your progress in that category. All right, so I'm going to move on to the next one and fill that in. So I think next up, I'm going to choose no junk food. And I'm going to aim for my goal on this one to be five days a week because we're not going to go for the full seven quite yet. <laughs> All right. So in there, I've got no junk food and five days a week written in. Um, and then each day that I decide to forego any type of junk food or processed food, I'll be able to give myself credit. So I'm just going to go ahead and pretend like I did really, really well this week and I got all five of my days so at the end of the week I can put my five there and then I took Saturday and Sunday off because I just really needed some junk food those days okay so next up um, we're gonna layer in eating whole foods 
So this might be one of the things that's on your agenda this year is to eat more whole foods. You might be doing like the whole 30 or something like that. When I say whole foods, I'm talking about things that are not processed, that are coming in their pure form from nature. So think about this in this way. When you're shopping at the grocery store, anything that you're shopping on the perimeter of the store is typically whole foods, produce, um, you know, meat, things that are not boxed or frozen or overly processed. So um, I'm going to put eat whole foods here. And my goal, again, is going to be five days. So I'm allowing myself a little bit of leniency if I want to eat some processed foods. So I'm going to fill that one out like that. There's my five days. I've made my progress. Uh, next up, I'm going to layer in exercise. All right, so exercise goals can be tracked one of two ways. You can either make a goal on exercise of how many times per week you want to do it or how many minutes per day or how many minutes in a week. Maybe you want to exercise 150 minutes this week. So you put your 150 right here as your goal and then you track maybe five 30-minute sessions per day. Or you can say, I'm going to work out for 10 minutes a day. I'm going to get active. It doesn't matter. Anything is, is good. <laughs> Anything is progress. So however you want to track your exercise on this sheet, I'm just going to use the, the 150 minutes goal and then I'm gonna say I did 30 Monday Wednesday Thursday Saturday and Tuesday and one two three four five I've got my five thirties in there so that adds up to my 150 minutes for the week so I give myself progress for that all right so next up is gonna be sleep I'm going to aim to sleep eight hours per night. And I'm going to try to do that every night this week. <laughs> so this is a tough one and one you may not have control over if you have issues with insomnia or you wake up in the middle of the night or whatever. But um, readjusting your bedtime might be necessary or um, trying some sleep aid or something that's going to help you sleep a little bit better. So um, I'm going to put that here and then I'm going to track how many nights I get my full eight hours of sleep during the week. And next up, let's just say we're going to track, we're going to do some yoga. Yoga is so important for flexibility. It doesn't have to be yoga. It can be stretching. So I'm bad about this. I'm going to just say my goal is going to be to do 20 minutes of yoga this week. So um, what I'm going to do is break that into two 10-minute sessions. And let's just say I have time on Wednesday to do 10 minutes, and then I have time on Friday to do, to do 10 minutes. And there's that goal. Yoga, 20 minutes, 10 and 10, and I got my 20 in for the week. Um, again, I left some blanks on here, so you could add in if you wanted to do like meditation or breathing exercises every day, you can add that in. But really the point of this is that and these are your goals, these are your parameters, and this is your progress. And remember, progress, not perfection. Do not beat yourself up. This is just a tool to use to get back on track, to kickstart your healthy habits again. And I find that it's really, really effective, especially if I don't try to overwhelm myself by putting all six of these on the sheet on the first day, which is going to be your total temptation and inclination. Uh, you can write your six ideas out if you want to, and you can just put week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, or you can do day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. Totally up to you. Does not, does not matter. But just remember to layer these things in so that it keeps it a little bit more manageable. All right. So again, you can download this, get your pretty on.com slash healthy tracker. And if you want to dig in a little bit deeper, I am starting my rediscover me 28 day life coaching challenge. We're going to cover everything from self care and healthy habits to goal setting, prioritizing what matters most to you. If you feel like life is just kind of like getting away from you, you don't, you know, make time for yourself or make time for your goals and your dreams and your aspirations. And this is really an opportunity in bite-sized chunks to take 20 to 25 minutes a day just to really focus on hitting the reset button in your life and focusing on you. Um, it starts next Friday, February 1st. So please make sure if you're gonna if you're gonna sign up, it's better to sign up now and get on the list at getyourprettyon.com/newyou um, because you're gonna get the welcome emails. 
and be able to uh, get what you need to get started in the challenge. You don't need a lot. Basically, you're going to need to carve out some time that you focus on yourself every single day to watch the video and um, do the exercises that are associated with it. And we're also going to have some journaling exercises too. So it's really a great opportunity for some introspection and to just kind of hit the reset button in your life. So again, sign up at getyourprettyon.com slash new you. And since we're talking about healthy habits and working out, I have a new YouTube video up. Uh, if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel yet, it's youtube.com slash Allison Lombatis. And I share some bonus content over there. Also, if you miss a coffee chat, all of them are over there. You can get caught up. You can sit down on the weekend and watch them in sequential order. Um, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and um, you will get those uh, bonus content and coffee chat videos there. All right, so that is all I had to share with you today. I would love to hear if you print this out um, and give it a try if it works for you. <clears throat> then please, please let me know. I want to I want to learn how you're using the Healthy Habits Tracker. And if you have some additional healthy habits that I didn't mention today that you think would be relevant to the audience, then please leave those in the comments on Facebook and YouTube. That would be super helpful. All right, pretty. Have an awesome weekend. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you back here next Friday. Bye.